Howdy guys, TNS back at it again for another week of college football, uh, particularly uh, Tennessee Volunteers football. Uh, so last week, you know, we ended up beating the Kentucky Wildcats. Uh, I told you three things that we need to do. I did not predict Tennessee to win that game. I did not predict Tennessee to, you know, pull off the upset against Kentucky, but they did. Um, so, you know, that's that's good. Um, I told you three things that Tennessee needed to do. Those three things were Gantano had to have a good game, offensive line had to learn how to block, and defense had to continue to play strong. They did all three of those things. They came out. They beat the Kentucky Wildcats 24-7. to Now this week, um, you know, they're playing the Missouri Tigers. You know, um, Kentucky beat Missouri, so hopefully that, you know, is a sign or hopefully, you know, just because Kentucky beat Missouri and we beat Kentucky 24-7 and Kentucky only beat Missouri by one point, that doesn't mean that we're going to come out and beat Missouri or dominate Missouri just because Kentucky beat Missouri and we beat Kentucky. Uh, because Missouri could have got better. They could have practiced over time. They could have done anything. They could have seen our uh, cons. They could have... Uh, made some more pros for the for them for their offense for their defense their offense is really explosive so I'm not going to say that okay I'm not going to use that as oh we're going to beat Missouri just because Kentucky did and we beat Kentucky no I'm not going to say that but I am going to say this Kentucky's uh, I mean uh, Missouri's offense is explosive uh, their defense I really haven't watched them too much I don't know much about their defense but I know that their offense is pretty explosive um, so our defense the first thing and now I'm going to change the order around a little bit today I'm going to change the order so it's nearly going to be almost the same things but the order is going to change last time first was Gantano had to have a good game second was offense line had a block and third was defense had to have a good game this game first one is defense has to have a good game all right defense has to stay strong they have to play defense they cannot let Missouri score and score they cannot let Missouri come out and put up a lot of points in the first and second quarter. Uh, quite frankly, they can't let them put up a lot of points in the third and fourth either, but if they was going to let them put up some points, I would rather it be in the third and fourth where, you know, Tennessee has already got and playing into the game. First and second quarter, they're starting to heat up. They're going to go downfield. They're going to score, stuff like that. So um, uh, defense, number one today for the Tennessee Volunteers. Number two. And yes, this this one is hard because I don't know if I want to put Gantano first or if I want to put the O-line first. The O-line was a major issue a few weeks back and they could have cost us a few games. I think that they mainly, they did cost us the South Carolina game. So number two is going to be offensive line has to block. You know, we saw improvement in the Kentucky Wildcats football game. We saw improvement in that. Offensive line was blocking. They was dominating Kentucky's defensive line. Uh, they was blocking for the running backs. They was blocking for the quarterback. They was just blocking, and it was fantastic. They had two uh, false starts, and that was both on the same person. Uh, so, you know, offensive line did fantastic. So, number two is going to be offensive line. They need to keep on doing that. They need to do exactly what they did last week. They need to do it this week. And number three is Garantano has to have a good game. He needs to go out there and do exactly what he did last week. He needs to make them tight throws. He needs to put it in the receiver's hands. He needs to get it through the gap right there. He needs to complete them passes. All right? And he needs to read the defense just like he did last week. He, he, he Since right before halftime, 39-yard pat, touchdown pass while well, his time expired. He saw uh, they, they was coming in off the edges. What did he do? He ran. He stayed in the pocket for a second, but after he saw them coming in, he ran out of the pocket. He stepped up in the pocket, then stepped out of the pocket a little bit, and then threw a touchdown pass. That's what do, good quarterbacks do. They read. They get out of the pocket if they have to. Uh, if you're a pocket passer, you'd like to stay in the pocket, of course. But um, if you're not a pocket passer, uh, then, of course, you don't like to stay in the pocket. But anyway, um, 
you know, that's what good quarterbacks do. They stay in the pocket mostly, but when they sense pressure and they see that pressure, they step out and they make them tight, good throws, all right? That's what Gantone did last week. Hopefully, that's what he can do this week. This is just a short little video of me telling you uh, what Tennessee needs to do, the three top things that they need to do, going from number one to number three, about what they need to do to win this football game. And I'm actually going to add a fourth one here today, just because, you know, this this is a tight ball game. This is to, uh, correction, this is a tight football game. This is to get to a ball game. Um, so, number four is going to be the running backs have to run it. I know that sounds funny. The running backs have to run. Of course, they're going to run. But what I'm saying is the running backs have to get yards, okay? They, they, they have to get yards. The running back, the coaching staff needs to get the running backs uh, divided between all of them, uh, not just Todd Chandler, not just uh, Colin Fizomine, or not just Jeremy Banks. Or not just you know not just one divided between all of our running backs. I think that they should get at least anywhere from. Tw you want to get one running back about twenty. So I'd say anywhere from twenty-seven to thirty-five touches for our running backs. Twenty-seven to thirty-five touches for all of them. That that's for that's for all of them. If we get above that, then that's good. Um, but I would I would try to. Put it in somewhere between there, 27 to 35 touches for a running back. I would want to get all the way up to 35 because 27, you know, most running backs get that again themselves. So I, would, I, want to, I want to go all the way up to 35, maybe possibly even like 37 or something like that. Um, but our running backs have to get yards. Uh, Ty Chandler's need needs to get close to 100, 125, somewhere around there. Um, and we'll, we'll just, I guess they'll build off of that. Um, but, you know, the thing is, like I said, number one, defense, two, offensive line, three, getting Gonatano, and four is the running backs. That's all I got for you. This is TNS signing off and uh, saying, go Vols.